Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday morning and I wanted to do a little like week in my life. I thought that would be fun because usually I just do like days. So I thought I'd like make a whole week and I could do like Monday to Friday what I do on the weekdays. Um, right now, I literally have like nine minutes to get to my nail appointment so I have to go. Um, I'm not even going to like get coffee before. Like that's how crazy this is. <laughs> I made it for 1030 and was like taking my time and then she texted me saying that like my girl has a customer after me and she was like can you come any earlier and i was like okay when do you want me and she was like 10 and i was like okay and now i have to be really insanely fast but um i need this appointment because i'm going to florida on wednesday which is also going to be like fun for our week in our life but i might oh i might want to make that its own vlog now that i'm thinking about it we'll see what we end up doing Okay, my pants are just scuba high-rise joggers from Lulu. I'm gonna put on, hold on please. I'm gonna do my Drew House hoodie. I feel like I don't wear it enough because it's so bright colored and I hate bright colors. All right, let's get shoes. My camera's literally gonna die. I'm not even gonna take it with me because there's no point. I'm just gonna leave it here to charge or the battery. I need to get another battery so I can like switch off, but um, I'll just vlog a little on my phone so you guys can see while I get my nails. I'm gonna wear my black and gray Jordans. I'm literally obsessed with these. Let's freaking go. All right, y'all, I made some avocado toast. It was a horror story. I got home and there were no avocados. Kidding, there were six. Four of them were rotten that I picked up from my Target order last night. I'm so mad because Target picked out those avocados for me. Like they did it on purpose, give me the rotten ones. So I wanted a refund because it's only been a day. I picked up the avocados last night. They shouldn't already be rotten. No one answered, no one answered and no one answered again. I got in touch with someone from the optical department and he told me he couldn't transfer me anywhere because he doesn't have the power to. So I gave up. Um, this was one avocado that was like, okay. It wasn't even part of the target order. Those were all horrible. It was that one that I already had in my thing. <sighs> I'm still starving. I don't even want to finish this. The bread's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Like nothing's going well right now. I got my nails done. I don't like them. <laughs> okay, they're fine. They're totally fine. I showed you guys at the nail salon. They're pink French. I like them. I just feel like I just used to get this a lot and it's like nothing fun or new. But I got a little heart on the ring fingers of both of them. And I feel like it's not like centered and it's not like, I don't know. I've had better nails before, but it's okay. Now we're going to go to Starbucks and hopefully bring our date better. So I just ordered an oat pizza. It actually came and it was like way bigger than I, than it usually is. So I literally only had one slice, and that was my first meal of the day. Oh wait, I had avocado toast, but I didn't even finish it. And avocado toast never fills me up, so I guess I don't even count that, but. Playing a claw clip. So I thought I would vlog again to take you guys with me to get a smoothie, but. Um, so I just had one piece of the pizza, and then I'll probably have it again for dinner, but. Since I like haven't really eaten much, it's five o'clock. I think I should get a smoothie. Uh, well, I'm really just craving a smoothie. I just like kind of had the urge to clean my car. Look what I brought in here that I got at CVS yesterday. Like stress little chewing tablets. I was gonna take them to Florida, but I feel like I keep them in the car. And I itch relief because for some reason my eyes are always itchy. So I thought I'd keep them in the car and then I want to throw away some of the trash that I had in here. I might just end up driving around like sometimes I say I'm gonna go somewhere and then I like kind of forget and then realize I don't really want to anymore and then never do but this is like I don't even know why I'm talking to you guys in this horrible lighting like you can't even see my face do you want my face in the sun like my camera is horrible so we did in fact arrive surprising right zero detours and I just got a spot in the front like literally front never ever been this close before 
So I think it's a sign that we're gonna have a good time and that I should go in. I also just backed into the spot. It took me two tries, but I think I'm in fine. I hope the Audi next to me doesn't have a passenger getting in, or I hope I leave before them. <laughs> but they'll find a way. I think I'm too scared to bring my camera. Yeah, I am definitely too scared to bring my camera in. So I won't do that, but I'll just film a little on my phone like I did last time, because that was seems to be fine. Um, so I have no problem vlogging in my car in front of a million people walking by though, like that's the thing. It's like when I'm in my car, I'm in my safe space, but then like if I'm in public with in someone else's space, no. You know? Whatevs. What am I looking for even? I don't know. I literally don't know, because now I don't even really want to make a smoothie. <laughs> so maybe I'll just try to find like some pre-made smoothie or pre-made juice. I kind of just want to like look around. This is kind of more of an activity for me to make me feel less shitty and not stay inside the whole entire day. It doesn't even look too busy, like, because I got a spot in front. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's go. Stop friggin' stalling. We didn't leave empty handed, of course. Have I ever? I don't think so. In my life left empty handed. But I'll show you guys what I got. I'm actually excited. I didn't get too much stuff or anything. I just really didn't want to feel like I spent money for no reason, you know? Even though I was going there for more of an activity, I was like, don't buy something if it's stupid and it's just a waste and I'm just buying because I see it, you know? So I got things that I'm actually really excited about and not too many things. And if I didn't see this stuff, I think I would have left empty handed because I, this is, I just stopped when I saw something that caught my eye, which was sorbet, but not only sorbet. See, I was already kind of looking for sorbet, but I found this on my way out. It's sorbet of the fruit coming, it comes in the fruit. The sorbet comes in the fruit of the flavor, see? Pineapple sorbet in a pineapple. And peach sorbet in a peach. How cute. How friggin' cute. And they don't seem like insanely unhealthy too, which was exciting for me. And then I got my favorite, just two little strawberry mochis because I love strawberry mochis. I'm so excited to try that sorbet because I feel like it is kind of similar to a smoothie, like in a sense, and that's what I was craving, so. We can go home and try this. I'm being the worst vlogger ever today, but I did in fact just take, shut up. I forgot to bring my camera inside and just tried the sorbet. I only had a little bit of the pineapple one. I like don't really want it right now. I'll probably eat it for dessert and I can, I'll show you guys that later. So don't be mad at me, but it was really good. It tastes like a pina colada and a pineapple. So since I left my camera in the car, I just brought my package back into the car so I could unbox it for you guys. I have been waiting so long for this. It's my phone case. So it's this same brand. Everyone on my TikTok asked me about it. It's this Mason, um, Mason de Sebre, um, <laughs> brand, and I love their cases, they're kind of pricey, but in my opinion, they're worth it, I mean, I, I really just like how they look, but they are protective, I haven't broken it, they're nice quality, they're leather, they're cute, they're like classy and plain, but like, still cute, and this one I went more out there, I got... A vibrant color they sent me oh my god they sent me free socks that's amazing guys stop it a limited edition gift so they have these limited edition socks oh my god They said a little thank you card. Oh, that's really, really cute. I love these too. They say their brand on them, if you can see. Um, here's the actual box. I was like complaining about how long it took, and now I kind of feel that, but here it is. They always put like so much work into it, and I feel like they're even like getting better. Like this packaging is even better than my last one. But let me show you right when you open it, you have. I thought this was a sticker, but I think it's a temporary tattoo. It totally is. It's so cute. Oh my god. And then I got this last time. They give you like a little pamphlet. 
And then, here's the actual case. Ah. Oops. Ah. Yes! Okay, so I was gonna get the one with Minnie Mouse on it because they had like a limited edition um, Sesame Street. <laughs> and I kind of wanted it. Not Sesame Street, um, whatever. What, Mickey Mouse, but. And I wanted the mini one because it was this pink and it, she was like so cute. But I was like, I won't want Minnie Mouse in my phone case <laughs> for that much longer. So I went with the plain pink. I'm literally obsessed. And I put my full initials on it this time. Because I thought I'll have one. My dad just got home. Why are you in the middle of the road? Do you like my new phone case? Let's put it on. My phone is gold and I kind of wish it wasn't because it doesn't really match with anything. And I honestly like it without a case. Like I used to carry it around without a case all the time until I found these cases. I feel so girly. I never have like a pink phone case. It's so beautiful. See, it is a little different. So I had like kind of a feeling. It was. Look, this top like cuts out. This one, it goes all the way around. Can you see that? I love it so freaking much. Look, it could just be like on the phone. Hello, doo -doo -doo -doo. isn't it cute? All right, good morning vlog. It's the last day that I'm gonna be vlogging for this like one video. I know I said I was gonna do a week, like weekday week in my life, which would be like five days, but since I'm leaving tomorrow for Florida, I thought I would start a different vlog for like my travels because that only makes sense. So, that's what we'll do. Um, it's Tuesday morning today and I have no packing done. So that is our main criteria for today. We have to pack. This vlog I feel like has been really like raw. And I hate saying that word, but I don't like know what other word to use to describe it. I feel like, oh, like not glamorized. Like, I've been very real. I don't even think I've gone to the gym once. Like, like that's what I mean. Like, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm always doing stuff. And, like, doing things just that you guys will like to see. Like, I want you to see, like, actually what I do. I mean, my week has just been, like, all over the place. It's literally Tuesday. It's been two days. So, basically, Monday was just not my vibe. I don't know. I hated yesterday. So hopefully today will be better. I'm not gonna go to the gym either because I woke up really early actually. So I woke up at like 8.45 and then I just sat in my bed for a while. And then I was on FaceTime with Dana and I kind of like totally lost track of time. And it's 10.30 now. So I'm not gonna go to the gym, but we're gonna get the day started and the literal main thing I'm doing today and like right now is packing. We are going to pack and be done with packing like this morning so I can stop worrying about it because that's like, you know, annoying to have to worry about. Let's go put on some comfy clothes and get coffee or something. And then we'll come home and tackle the packing. I don't even think it will take that long. All right, let's go. Okay, OOTD on this gross, rainy morning. Here's the fit, it's from Princess Polly. It's just these super cute joggers and little bra set, and they're like waffle. You can tell closer up like this, but I have this in green too, so obsessed. And I actually wanna bring this to Florida, so I'm gonna have to wash it when I take it off when I shower later. And then I'm just gonna do a little black fuzzy skims zip up. I feel like this little Princess Polly set will be so cute when I'm more tan because it's white and like, I don't know, that was my vision for it. So I definitely have to bring it and we're ready. I'm just going to put on my Ugg slippers. I literally am not letting myself do anything else except get coffee, of course, until my packing is done because that's what's like stressing me out the most and that's what y'all have to do. That's what I figured out. 